M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Please like or subscribe if you're finding these videos interesting. So we're on the subject of Ham Shack Hotline. This is my Cisco 525G and it's already configured with the Ham Shack Hotline system connecting to Lynx, Echolink, RF Links, All Star and Peer-to-Peer -peer, and much, much more. And I'll just show you a close-up of the screen. And these are some shortcuts that I've added on the, what they call them extension numbers. And then we've got a big panel here where we could add many more extensions. And you get your number from hamshackhotline.com. Uh, you apply for a number, as long as you've got a, a call sign, ham radio call sign, you will get your number. My number is 42000090 or 42600090. So it's a growing system. But today, at the moment, this, this particular video is about using the app version of this, which um, the, the app recommended it's called Groundwire. It does cost £8.49. There are free ones out there like Musidroid and other ones, but this is the one I use because it, it just works well. So what I wanted to show you in this video is just the, the first time setup procedure for Groundwire. I've done some other videos in this, but this is the first time I've done it from scratch on this phone. So what we will do is we've gone to Play Store and we've typed in Groundwire VOIP and this has come up and now we're going to open this app for the first time. And it goes straight to this. Now remember that I, I have gone to Hamshack Hotline to their HHOPS or OPS um, link and I've created a, my own, um, registered my account which has been verified by email and then I've opened what they call a ticket for a hard phone which is the this phone here which you need to do that before you apply for a soft phone and then once that's done you've got that working and it's working great um, then you can now use this the SIP app so first thing it says microphone permission so the answer to that is yes now there are instructions for this which I've posted in a previous video yes so we go next allow audio now phone permission is up to you I'm going to not allow it at the moment, but, but it's up to you, like so, and I'm going to go deny, and then continue, same goes for all your contacts, so we go next, and I'm going to go deny, but you can allow it, I think, I think, um, Hamtrack Hotline do provide a service where you can phone contacts, but you have to pay about $5 a month for it, but check with Hamtrack Hotline for that, continue, so, Next, and that's right for a new account. This is the most important bit now. You tap new SIP account. The title doesn't matter, I call it MM0FXB Soft Phone. I'll make this Soft Phone 2 because this is my, my second Android device. Username this does matter, and this will be the they call it the extension, the phone number that you've been given. Mine is on my device here, I'll show you. There you are, it's 42, 6 noughts, 9 zero. It's not very clear, but there it is. Okay, and we can put that in here. 42, 6 noughts, and then 9 zero. Now the password I've copied and pasted from an email that was sent to me from Ham Shack Hotline, um, confirming they've that I can use this now and this is my password so I'm going to copy and paste that and it, you can't see that now it's the domain and now you put this in twice now they've they've given me the EU one which is H H E U dot ham shack hotline I'm guessing if you're in on a different server it could be HHUS for, you know, United States. So HHEU.hamshack hotline. Let's go in a bit closer. Like so. Just double check your spelling mistake. HH.EUhamshackhotline.com. And the, the reason it's better to paste your password is because it's a very long password and you don't want to get that wrong. Right. You're not quite ready yet. Now you go advanced settings. I'm doing this from memory. The turn off video calls. Everything else here stays the same. 
don't think we touched anything. I think we turned off call waiting. We'll keep going. And we've got to put the proxy in again. Our voicemail here. So we go star. 97 for voicemail. That's good. Okay. And then... Well, we haven't put that in. We haven't done that one. That authorised username. I haven't touched that one. Um, outgoing. Everything else looks fine. I'm just looking for where we put in our proxy. So I'm obviously blind and can't see it. So let's find it. Code uh, proxy. Here it is. And that's the same as before. H H E U dot hamshat hotline dot com. There you go. So, as far as I can see, that's all correct. Keep going up. Now, the good thing about when you do have this system is that you, you can use either one to answer a call. So, we're going to tick. And if it works correct, you'll get a green light very quickly. See this green here where it registers? And it's, and it's registered and the green light has stayed on, stayed on very quickly. So, we're basically registered now. Now we can test this. Um, let's test it using the clock. So what we'll do is we'll go to the phone. So we don't need that. We'll go back to the phone. Uh, so we'll go like that. And then we'll go to the keypad here. And we'll go star 60. And then we'll dial and turn the speaker on. The tone. The time will be exactly 9.49 and 30. Seconds. A.M. That's good. And then let's see if we can do a, a, a voice echo test. So echo test is star 43. There you go. Ring. And then we'll put the speaker on again. Enter an echo test. In this mode, everything you say will be repeated back to you just as soon as it is received. The purpose of this test is to give you an audible sense of the latency between you and the machine that is running the echo test application. You may end the test by hanging up or by pressing the pound key. The pound key is the pound key. Oh. oh. So it's an instant, so it's an instant echo. echo. So the pound key so is the, the house, by, by the way. Mike Zero. Mike Zero. Fox X3 Brother. Brother. Quite funny, isn't it? Quite funny, isn't it? Please call me. Please 42. Call me 40. 60. 60. 90. 90. On Hamshack Hotline. On Hamshack. Right, and we'll just right. end we'll it with the, it with the what they, call the pound they call the pound key. In the UK, it's the, In hash. the, UK, it's the hash. There you go. The echo test has been complete. Now, I'll just show that, see if we can get that working on my uh, other device before we end the video, because I think that would just be fun. So, here's the Hamshack here. And we're just going to do that again. So, we're going to go star 43. Speaker. You are about to enter an echo test. In this mode, everything you say will be repeated back to you just as soon as it is received. The purpose of this test is to give you an audible sense of the latency between you and the machine that is running the echo test application. You may end the test by hanging up or by pressing the pound key. One, two. One, two. One. Good, isn't it? One, One two. two. M0 FXB. FXB. So we'll save that. And let, let's see what it sounds like if I take this off. Because at the moment it's speaker. Hello? Hello? Yeah, you can't hear that, but I can hear that. Hello. So my audio, just to let you know, is literally perfect. So we'll end that call. Uh, oh, it looks like I ended it when I took the thing off. Yeah. So you get an idea. I mean, loads of little gadgets here to play with. We've got my number, Lionel, my friend. We've got D7OKI -OKI on here, Freestar. I'm going to add a load more here on the, they call it the uh, sidecar. Uh, links all around, you know, all around. I'll just show you the, the links. The, the links are extensive. I'll show you. So what you're looking at now is the phone book, which is just one section of the phone book. Loads of UK calls are in there as well, uh, if you search for UK. 
And then if you go to here, let's have a look now. Is that the phone book? No, that isn't the phone book, is it? Yeah, abstract phone book. This is, sorry, this is RF links here. Yeah, RF links. A lot of them all start Echo Link. Um, and then we go to the phone book, which is individual people. I put in UK here and I did this. Loads of UK stations, but obviously loads, you know, this system is bigger in America. So I don't know whether we can put in USA or just put in K something. Search. Yeah, probably need to put in K, don't we? Like K5. It's not letting me type it now, but there it is extensive there. So thanks a lot for watching. So if you're, you're interested, this is the Cisco 525G. You can get these on eBay for £30, £40 delivered. Make sure you get one that's unlocked. Um, um, or, uh, yeah, unlocked and, and no password on the admin because you need to get into the admin. It's completely controlled by your browser. Even the software gets uploaded using your browser. So it's very, very easy process to, to load up once you've seen instructions. 7.3, please like and subscribe my channel. All the best.